Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy Terrence Carter. And I'm here. Hello, y'all. Where are all these new supporters coming from, bro? I just, I just want to say that, bro. First thing first. Shout outs to y'all. But it's your boy Terrence Carter, man. And I'm here. Back at it again with another video. Also, shout out to all of the Turner supporters, bro. Everybody has been rock, rocking out with me since day one. Guys, bro, like, y'all. Gee Louise, bro. I appreciate y'all. Real talk. Um, Today's video, my apologies for the late upload. I've been out here, honestly speaking, doing Uber Eats. Um, I got out here. I got out here like 5 a.m. All jokes aside. And I'm about to start doing this like mini like experiment on myself where I start waking up super duper early because I know like millionaires and like, you feel me? Like the people that's like super duper wealthy, you know, like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg and you feel me? Like people like that, bro. Like people that run businesses I know that they wake up super duper early and I know that that's also how you like conquer the day and you're able to get so much more things done way ahead of the rest of the world you know what I'm saying so I've been out here since early I ain't gonna front um so my apologies for the late upload but today's video though I definitely want to talk about how um being on semen retention definitely will help you with like any type of hold on let me let me let me let me go somewhere she's mad oh gosh i hate when people just want you to hear the whole conversation maybe that dude bro goodness all right now my apologies y'all um i want to talk about how semen retention definitely helps you with like dealing with any type of I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. Being on retention is gonna help you deal with any type of inner wounds. AKA, like, things you didn't let go of in the past. Or, like, if you was a person that was, like, high key, insecure, or you lack self confidence and things like that, bro. I feel like when you get on semen retention and when you, you know, you no longer watch pornography and you start to meet, like, this different version of yourself. You will start to like wonder why you were so like insecure or you know, you will start to question like why was it so hard for me to let things go instead of just letting it go, you know? Um there's plenty of like I could say like traumas, you know, from your past that you will definitely learn to overcome and um you will start to become like more whole within yourself and you're able to handle life you know totally different you know what i'm saying you're able to move on from things super duper like fast because you're protecting your energy now for real, for real. now um a huge shout out to everybody once again that's new to the channel any paternity supporters everybody that's in the semen retention and OFAC community Please make sure you guys continue to retain your seed and take this experience very, very serious. You know, like law of attraction will work in your favor. The universe will work in your favor. Things will start to make sense because now you have the clarity that you always needed. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So the reason why I want to talk about like semen retention, like healing, any type of like in a wound you might have had or like anything like that is because um I've noticed that within myself you know I'm very very like protective of my energy I spend a lot of time alone you know in solitude if I'm not hanging out with family members or if I'm not spending time with Mars you know what I'm saying her name is Marvelise but her nickname is Mars so if I'm not spending time with her I'm, I'm, I'm with myself <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna fret. And there's a couple like 
All right, there's a couple inner wounds I want to talk about. Now, the first thing you might go through, oh, there should be no reason why our conversation is that loud. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Maybe I'll be a little bit dramatic, but you feel me? All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is, um, especially as a man, bro, especially as a man, right? First thing we're going to talk about is the emotional state of being and, like, how that, how that, we gonna talk about, <laughs> we gonna talk about the emotional state of being and how that correlates with like building a better relationship with yourself and with finances. Now, sometimes in this human experience, bro, people let their financial, they allow their financial situation to dictate their emotions. When in reality, like, let's keep it real. In order for you to attract, like, more money into your reality, you have to be emotionally stable. And you have to already be happy so for instance right me y'all already know i'm out here i do my uber eats grind you know what i'm saying i keep myself very very productive i keep myself active i make sure i'm serving others i'm feeding the people i'm staying in the flow and i put out there to the universe how much money i like to make for the day because i always set a goal when i come out here right and um I learned that this is a whole entire process. People are so used to like instant gratification that they forget that delayed gratification is really where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, like I'll set a goal on like, all right, I want to feed 15 people, right? Or I want to feed 20 people for the day. And I have to train myself mentally to bring that to life. I have to stay in control of my emotional state of being Because I have to be out here throughout the whole entire day You know what I'm saying? I can't just quit or give up on the goal Because quitters never win and winners, winners never quit You know what I'm saying? So I keep myself focused on that And I take it one delivery at a time You know what I'm saying? Now when it comes down to Let's just say that in like finances, right? I always set a financial goal and I always know that in order for me to attract it, I cannot contradict what it is that I want. I cannot sit there and say I want something and then use the word but. All right? So a lot of us in this community, I'm pretty sure, bro, like you've been working on your finances, you've been in the stock market, you've been investing, you've been, you know, I know me personally, bro, like. Here I am. I'm a stock market investor. I'm invested into real estate in the stock market. I have dividends that come to my portfolio. Like, I've learned to manage. Let me tell you this. I learned to manage small amounts of money so that God could give me the big amounts, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know I started my journey last year in the stock market. Y'all also already know that. I told y'all already where I was at last year with my bad spending habits and all that. And now I had to apply, you know, saving and investing my money. Well, investing my money because a lot of my money is in the stock market so that I don't touch it. You know what I'm saying? And um, being open to receiving from source, you know, being open to receiving from the universe and knowing that money is a currency, it's a flow, you know? It's a, it's, a, it's a state, it's a flow state. And as long as you're allowing the money to flow to you, you, you should not walk around this human experience thinking that you can't attract money or that like you don't deserve money. Cause everybody is worthy of something. If you just remind yourself that you are worthy of it. You know what I'm saying, realistically. Um, another thing too, fellas, yeah, y'all really have to put your time and your energy towards the things that y'all really want, you know? Like, if you're not out here getting paid to, like, for instance, I know y'all be seeing streamers that get paid 
to, to bring y'all content, bro. They get paid to play Call of Duty or NBA 2K or all these video games, right? If you a person and you not really like getting paid to do that, don't waste your time. Cause like video games and like watching TV and stuff like that takes up a lot of time and energy. When you could just like be real productive and put that same time and energy into yourself, bro. You know, working out, journaling, serving other people, perfecting a craft, you know what I'm saying? Like things like that, bro. Because like, I understand bro and I get it. Like sometimes in this human experience, like we want to be entertained so badly, but like you could be your own entertainment. You know, you could use your own creative energy to your advantage and then just co-create with the universe. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing too, bro, like being on this journey is going to teach you a lot about like what the world, like what this world really is, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's so much things that I learned, bro, like... If you're not valuing your time, if you're not valuing like your own sexual energy and cultivating it and putting it into different areas, then you're not really valuing yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're still focused on like literally like watching other people fornicate and just using that as a way to cope with life, that's that's whack. Because life is not really going to bring you the things that you that you really desire and that you really want because now you're you're using your energy the wrong way you feel me you're supposed to use this energy to power up you know to level up to become more stoic you know to have more mental strength to become more emotionally stable you know the more emotionally stable the more emotionally stable you are the more financially stable you will be and i need that to like i need you to let that sink in you know what I'm saying? Financial stability is something that we all should work on. You know? Wanting to attract more into your reality and being open to receiving it. You know what I'm saying? Letting your money work for you so that the universe can bring you more. You know? Um, this is another thing too. Ooh, this is a big one. So, Boom, boom, quit down. So boom, right? You gotta also remember that life is constantly moving. So like, you can't you can't dwell on anything, bro. Right? Like you cannot dwell on the past. You cannot dwell on like things that you already did. Cause like, what are you about to do? You can only like look forward and say, all right, I can learn. I can keep on growing. I can keep on improving. And I can keep on looking forward to the things that God have out for me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, you have to always, like you're always gonna want more, so you have to always, like, you have to always be prepared for more that you are asking for, you know? You have to you have to acknowledge the more that you do want because it's gonna come to you. Like, semen I'm telling y'all, bro, like, semen retention and no fat bro, it, it, it brings things to your reality effortlessly. Like, yes, you, you, you got it, you got it. Like I told you in the last video, you have your goals, then you have you, and you got to meet your goals halfway, you feel me? Yeah, you got to meet halfway, you got to beat it. But it's going to it's gonna come more effortlessly because your energy is, is built up. Your energy is amplified. So you're literally a magnet walking this reality, bro. And source is listening to what it is that you want and what you're saying and what you're asking for. And then you have to believe it. You have, bro, you have, you, you have to see it in your mind before you can even manifest it into this human experience, bro. Like, let me ask you a question. Can you see yourself becoming an investor? Once you're an investor, you're a business owner automatically, bro. Not saying you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, 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 be the CEO of the business, like Starbucks, or like, you feel me, like, McDonald's, or Chipotle, McDonald's. You could actually own stock in the company and then there you are, you're a business owner now. Now you got it, now it's a totally different mindset shift, bruh. Now you gotta think long term, now you gotta focus on building your shares, 
Now you gotta have more financial discipline. Now you gotta learn how to live off of less than what you make. But it all makes sense. It all adds up. I ain't gonna front, bro. Like, I'm glad that I started the stock market experience, bro. Like, I'm, I'm glad, bro. The first time I tried it, I took my money out and I got me a car. You feel me? Now, it's just keeping the money in there and owning me some shares and getting me more and more shares so that my, 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 my money is working for me, man. You feel me? It's growing a better relationship with, with, with money and being open to receive it. It's knowing that, that money first starts on a spiritual level. Your spirit is limitless. That's why you're not supposed to set limitations on yourself. You feel me? Like, we are powerful, bro. Like, we real life powerful beings. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, too, is, is don't compare. Like, bro, like, do, do y'all understand? Like, comparison is like the wackest thing in the world. You about to compare your life to somebody else's life and you don't even know them from a can of paint. Like, why, why would you compare your journey to somebody else's journey? Why not just focus on your journey and say, hey, I'm having fun throughout the whole entire process? You know what I'm saying? I know what I want. I know it's going to come to me, but I have to, I have to already be in a good mood for it to come to me. It's a natural flow state being on retention. It's a natural flow state being on no fat. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm like this, open to receive it, open to receive it. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. You feel me? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm letting myself know. You know what I'm saying? I am powerful. I am abundant. I am amazing. I am glowing. I am healing. I am... Anything that you say at the I am is the most powerful words, man. Word. I am having this human experience, having fun. Real talk with my own life force essence, bro. Creating, 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 bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, my retention gonna take you out the dark place that you was in. Cause like, porn keeps people in a dark place. I don't care who you are, bro. Porn gonna keep you in a sunken place. Mentally, you're not gonna have a whole bunch of clarity. You're gonna have brain fog. Spiritually, you're not gonna be shiny and light as much as you're supposed to. Physically, you're probably gonna be tired and lethargic instead of having endurance and being in shape. Uh, financially, you're wasting money on porn instead of investing into yourself. Emotionally, you're gonna be emotionally irate instead of being more calm. Having a better attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just things that I'll I, I be paying attention to, bro. And I'm, I'm my own experiment on this journey, bro. And I'm, I'm telling you too, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, on retention, yeah, you're going to have that aggression. But it's, it's like I told you in previous videos, bro. It's a good aggression. It's the aggression to to make sure nobody plays with you. You feel me? To make sure nobody messes with you. It's the aggression towards your goals. It's an aggression towards... Your, 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 your old self Like you probably mad at your old self Cause you was watching so much porn You was a bot in the matrix So now you gotta rewire your brain And do all the work Do all the inner work that's required For you to remember that You are player one And nobody can take your energy away from you You know what I'm saying And Unless you are gonna procreate in this human experience You should not release your seed That's, that's the real bro Keep that cultivated, bro. Like, feel your energy. No matter if other people feel your energy and all that stuff. You, what about you? What about you feeling your energy? You know, what about you connecting with yourself? What about you validating yourself? Like, things like that, bro. Real talk. This experience is going to teach you a lot. And you're going to wish that you started it earlier, bro. Like, that's the thing, like... We do things sometimes and we be like, dang, like, I wish I should have started this earlier. But it's like, it's better late than never. It's better for you to start and then keep going and then see how it makes you feel rather than you not, rather than you not give yourself a chance. Like, I would rather you start this journey and set a goal and then go after that goal. I'd rather you do that than you sit there and say, oh, I can't try semen retention. It's too hard. I can't stop watching porn, it's too hard. Cause then you 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 quitting on something that's the most powerful experience. The most powerful experience that you will have. My poor child. But <laughs> my bad y'all. But being on retention is the most powerful, potent experience you will have as a man and you need to do it. That's it, that's all. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all see my bag. I don't care. Hit the like yo. That's another thing too, bro. See retention makes you not care, bro. But in a good way, real talk. 
Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, if this is your first time to the channel, leave your comments below. And um, man, get y'all some merch, bruh. It's in the description. Get y'all some merch. I gotta, I gotta get me some more honey for myself. But, appreciate y'all, love y'all. It's your boy Terrence Carter.